In this video, we are going to design the component of uh, JC of the Jet Mobile toy. So make sure the units are in millimeters. So to start the uh, model, first we have to draw a sketch. And for this sketch, we are going to select this top plane. So the first sketch, uh, we are going to uh, draw a half sketch. So for the half sketch, first I am going to draw the vert vertical line, a reference line, a construction line. Now I am going to select the line tool and we are going to define a random sketch, a rough sketch and then we are going to dimension it. So the sketch will be uh, half, half sketch in this side like that line, then another line. And here again, we are going to draw center line from this point to this. So we just needed to draw this portion and give the dimension and uh, define the constraints. And then we are going to mirror this sketch with the reference of this line and mirror uh, this whole sketch with the reference of this line. So we have to define this dimension. So the dimension from this reference line to this line it's given as 140 divided by 2 so 70 the half dimension then we need to define dimension from this point to this line this dimension is given as 20 and half so 10 and dimension from this point to this point we have to define a dimension so this dimension is given as 25 then we also have to define a relation between this line and and this point and this point or between this line and this line so press the control on your keyboard select this line and this line and then we can here, uh, define a relation which is collinear so it will make the two lines in front of each other like they are uh, they are uh, a same line so that is the meaning of the uh, relation of the collinear so for the next we have to define the dimension of this tab this dimension is given as 10 and we have to define a position dimension for this uh, these tabs and for this uh, uh, position dimension we are going to so from this point to this line this dimension is 30 so now this sketch is fully defined so what we have to do now select the mirror intentees and intentees to mirror which intentees we want to mirror we want to mirror this these lines these selected lines which are shown in blue and mirror about with the reference so we have to select a reference line so uh, this line will be reference line and this sketch is mirrored like that okay and again use the mirror and now we have to select all of these lines and select the mirror about so this line will be the mirror reference so like that we we have this uh, uh, sketch and now exit this sketch and extrude we are going to extrude this sketch and put the dimension the depth of this extrusion its depth is five inches five millimeter and go here and make the isometric view now we have to we have to use the shell feature to make to remove the material uh, with our defined thickness this defined thickness is is two two millimeter so show preview it is removing all the material making a cut but just leaving the thickness of two in all direction like that so we have this sketch now go to sketch open the sketch on this this plane and we have to draw a line so from this center till this center we define this line and again we have to define a line from this middle like that this is the midpoint of this line if you cannot find this midpoint you can also define the relation but you can automatically add it if you select the line move to this this edge you can see this midpoint 
and draw a vertical line coincident with this edge like that okay now exit the sketch go to feature and try to add the feature of rip so now we are using the rip feature uh, it's uh, adding some thickness of uh, of this defined sketch and here we have to type 4 so it's just making the sketch like we we make a, a sketch of rectangle here rectangle here and then we're using the extrude the same work we can do with the rib but we just have to define a single line so sketch is open and make sure you selected this one the both side so the thickness is added on the both side with the reference to this sketch so 2 is adding in this direction and 2 is adding in this direction okay and change the direction flip material direction so in this direction we want to make this rib the rib is not mounted properly the exclusion of the rib does not intersect the part model okay what is the issue with this so i think we have to edit this sketch and this point clear this relation and we have to add select this point of the line and this edge and add a mid relation between them and same way click on this point if the relation is not showing select it and delete it and we want this line coincident at this point now try to add this rib or in the other direction try to find the Again, I'm going to edit this sketch and I'm going to read this sketch and now try to add the rib. So we want in the in this direction, flip the direction. In this side, this is four. The rib is not bounded properly. The extension of the rib does not intersect with the model. Okay, so what is the issue? So if you face an issue like that, you can you can try different things and try to understand that what the solid work is telling you what is the issue. So maybe you can resolve it. You use the rib forward in this direction, in this direction, and like that. Okay, 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 okay. I think we have to change the plane of this rib and select this top surface for the plane of this sketch. So now the sketch is on this surface. Now try to use the rib in the other direction. This is 4. Okay, so that was the error. The plane must be on this on this surface. So when you add the rib, the material go inside in the inner direction of the 
of the material or or the design so now we can edit this sketch again and draw this sketch like that exit it now we also have a rib here okay we resolve this issue next uh, open the sketch on this surface on this surface on the and we are going to draw two circles so a circle here like that and other circle like that and define the dimension of one circle and then we give the so this dimension is given as 10 and the distance between this point and this edge it, it is given as 85 okay and draw a center line with the reference of this center like that and now we have to define some relations so add the relation the first relation between this region and this center point of the circle they must have a relation of horizontal okay next again a relation and this time this center point and this center point having the relation of horizontal like that then again press uh, add relation intensity to select select this center point and this line and add a relation coincident and now press here in any area this working area so the selected uh, intent is will be deselected again select the add relation and now we have to select this circle and select this circle we wanted a, re a relation between them an equal uh, diameter relation so we added the equal now the diameter of this two circle are 10 and it is now fully defined exit this sketch and we are going to use the extrude base post so this sketch we want to uh, extrude it till this surface the inner surface so we are going to select the surface and select this inner surface so now this sketch is extruded till this surface again open the sketch on this surface and now we want to make uh, two holes so select the circle tool and go here on this circular edge and make sure this center appear so the center point of the new circle must be coincident with this one or you if you just uh, randomly draw a circle like that but you want to make sure this uh, point this point of the, the center point of this circle and the center point of this circle must be coincident we we call a relation which means cocentric so select this circle and this arc and we can add a cocentric cocentric mean two circle sharing a common center point now one center point so now it's defined this dimension is given as six and we have to define an equal relation so press the control on your keyboard select these two points and add a relation equal between them now we have to make the cut extrude cut and select through all so now we just define this cut okay so next when when we when we use this shell when before use the shell we we can add a fillet so move move this go to this this uh, the end point on on this tree design tree this line you can see when you keep your mouse here it will turn into uh, a head and now press the right button and drag this bar till this extrude boss so now the other components are the other uh, features design features are uh, compressed and you cannot uh, see in them it's not available here so just add a fillet command and we have to define fillet for these points these edges select these edges four on this side and four on the other side okay and this diameter this radius is given as 5 so if we did this uh, this command now if we move uh, move again go to this bar and drag these downward and now you can see the inner inner is also filtered so that's why we want to use the this fillet before after the the boss command and before the shell command so we also have the this inner fill it okay now save the model
and now we have to go another feature so for this feature open the sketch on this one tab and draw a circle and give the dimension so this dimension is given as 5 Okay, so I'm just written the drawing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first we are going to define a circle of diameter 6 then we have to add some relation so select this point press the control and you know not this way we are going to select the center line define a center line in the middle in the midpoint with the reference of this edge and make sure this uh, center of the circle must be coincident with this line and add a coincident relation and the same way we have to define uh, another center line and make sure you select activated this center this midpoint of this edge and draw vertical construction line and select this center and this reference line and add a relation coincident okay now this sketch is fully defined like that and extrude it so you have to select the contours so basically we want to extrude this sketch like that so at this point when you are going to extrude this sketch when you are going to extrude it you have to go here on select here blind when you selected this blind it will be like that and you have to select two and go to contour selected contours remove it this selection clear selection so now the selection is clear so you have to select this inner this inner side of the of the of this uh, circle so when you select this this side like that in in the selected contours this portion after this edge will be not selected and also this portion with the reference of this uh, edge is not selected so we don't we don't wanted these uh, two portion if you extruded it like that after that we have to remove we have to make a cut from this face we have to open the sketch on this face and cut this uh, material but it's easy for us we can actually remove this selection we only want to extrude this inner uh, inner surface okay so now we will get a shape like that okay that's good again open the sketch on this face and this time you have to draw a circle in the center point of this uh, arc of the edge and this is five and use the extrude command so now you have to define the uh, dimension here so from the top face till this face we have 6.5 okay and again we have to make a sketch on this surface and for this sketch we can we can open a sketch and same way activate the center point and define a circle and give the dimension of this circle it's also six.
okay now we have to extrude this one so from the top surface till this surface we have 12.5 minus 8.5 okay now 12.5 minus 8.5 10 minus it's 2 basically okay and use the fillet we have to add the fillet for this edge not fillet chamfer select this edge and add a chamfer distance is 1 angle is 45 okay now we we have to make a cut so for this cut i am going to select this surface and open a sketch the sketch on this surface and we have to define the cut draw rectangle like that and now we have to define the dimensions so this overall is 2 and the depth of this cut is 6 from this edge to this end point it's 6 and now we just needed some relations so we can define the position so just center line draw center line like that in the midpoint of this edge and define a dimension from this point to this if it must be in the center this dimension will be one and for the reference just define this dimension uh, because we want to use the fully defined sketches so it does not matter how much uh, from this edge to this dimension goes because it is just for our reference to make a through cut so extrude the cut select through all so the whole material will be removed so this will be the final shape of this uh, this feature which we added on only on this on this tab so we want to use the mirror so we can we can mirror it in this side and then we can mirror it on the other side so use the use the mirror command and actually we want to mirror this uh, this features to mirror we want to mirror this feature this feature this feature chamfer and extrude cut we want to use the use the front plane so we have the feature like that and again use the use the mirror and this time we want to make the mirror of faces we want to mirror it with the reference of right plane and features to mirror select this mirror command and we have all four features in it so now the design is complete this is the jc of the jet mobile save it and we are going to move to the next component and for the next component we have to define the body so make sure you selected the right units units are millimeter and this time we are going to use this loft command so first of all we have to draw a sketch so go to feature select the front plane and we have to draw a sketch so this sketch we are going to draw it like that so go here and select the midpoint line and this origin and draw a line like that which is coincident with this origin and define this dimension this dimension is 40 okay no draw two lines line like that and then another line like that and then go here on the arc, arc command and select the three point arc so this is the first point this is the second point and place the arc like that and now give the dimensions so from this point sorry so select the smart dimension select this line and then press the shift on keyboard and select this arc and this dimension is given as 32 and now define the radius of this arc this radius is given as 50 
and now we can see if we have to define uh, some other dimensions so from this point to this point this dimension we have 50.6 and we add a relation select the relation select this point and this point and we want to have a relation of horizontal okay so now we can move this sketch like that it's not fully fully defined so we have to draw a central line from the center and we are going to add a relation add relation select this line then select this line and then select this or uh, this reference line and we want a relation between them a symmetric relation now you can see this sketch is fully defined exit this sketch and now we are going to extrude it in the other direction so for this extrusion we are going to we are going to define a we are going to define a dimension so for this dimension this is 42.5 okay We define this uh, dimension, press OK. No, no, we have a feature like that. Next, we have to, uh, we are going to define a plane. Okay. So, for this extrusion, uh, we are going to use. plus 10 okay now again select this uh, this right side this is the front side so we are we we have to define a plane from this side 